Books, authors, and of course, readers will take over the convention center this weekend for Wordstock. But this festival is much more than a giant weekend book fair. Chloe Hauser has more from Wordstock headquarters in tonight's PDX TV reports. So much more than a place to meet your favorite writer. We're looking at the past, present, and future of Wordstock. I was at a book festival and he said, do you guys have a book festival in Portland? And then I said, no, but I'll start one right away, and there you go. What started as a chat with a buddy in a bar became Wordstock, thanks to Larry Colton. The author and teacher started the festival in 2005 with big-name authors and a huge turnout. Now Wordstock is six years old and draws more than 15,000 visitors to Portland. But many of those visitors probably don't know about the mission behind Wordstock. Well, we're trying to bring literacy to not only the community, but schools as well. And for 10 years, we've run a program with the schools to improve writing achievement. And we've worked with 1,600 teachers and about 25,000 students. Wordstock was created as a vehicle to help that program. As Wordstock works hard to make up for school budget shortfalls and bring a love of writing to local students, Greg Netzer, the executive director, says the festival that supports that program is set for its biggest year yet. I know it's sort of a cliche to say there's something for everyone, but there literally is something for everyone <laughs> at this thing. That something includes workshops for aspiring writers and teachers, author readings and panel discussions, a children's area, and a huge book fair in the convention center. Not to mention additional events throughout the week at other locations. We've been very fortunate that Wordstock has become so well known. But as the internet and ebooks change the world of publishing, where is that well-known festival headed? Stories really are always going to be a part of who we are and a part of our community. Stories are always going to be around. It's just the ways that those stories come to us are continually going to change. So we're always going to feature writers and we're always going to feature ways to tell stories and the ways to help become better at writing stories or sharing them with one another. Whatever the future holds, Wordstock will still be working to help people read and write about it. It's important to keep this alive and keep it moving because if, if we lose all of that, we're going to crash and burn as a, as a culture. If you want to get well read this weekend, the festival proper is this Saturday and Sunday at the Convention Center. We've actually got a link at kptv.com. For PDX TV Reports, I'm Chloe Hauser, the 8 o'clock news. Well, and you know that might be a good place to be because it's going to be pretty wet this weekend. Isn't I was it? just going to say, yeah, this is. Did uh, I take the words out of your mouth? No, no, that's okay. I was going to add to it. What okay. I was going to say was um, that, that uh, <laughs> I've been getting a lot of outdoor projects done this week in anticipation of a wet weekend, and I plan to relax and.